Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Back out here on Cotter Lake again today. A little bit breezy, but not near as windy as last time. Hopefully we don't get blown off the water. We're looking for walleye and trout once again today. Stay tuned and let's see if we can get on them. All right, a little bit of an update. Been out here for about 15 minutes, not very long. I am marking fish and the fish have been pretty shallow and I think I'm diving too, too low beneath them. I'm gonna switch to a shallower bait and one that's more uh, traditionally known as walleye bait, a Smithwick Rogue. I think this is the junior size here. Also got a little suspend strip down there to get it to suspend perfectly in the water column. So tie this guy on and See what we can do. All right, so we're uh, abandoning our first spot. We were marking fish over there. Uh, just couldn't get them to bite on anything. Shifting gears now. I'm uh, moving to the opposite side of the lake. The wind was blowing up against there when it was actually blowing. Now it's fairly still out here. So there might be some fish positioned over there. Um, there's some some sharper drop-offs over there too that I want to check out. On the way, I've got the uh, drop shot in my hand, just keeping an eye on my sonar in case any uh, big trout swim underneath me, then I'll drop down to those and see if we can pick some off. But yeah, that's kind of the update for now. All right, one last update uh, before the sun completely goes down and it gets dark. Uh, I marked a few fish on the west side of the lake. Could not get anything to bite again. I haven't brought a lot of baits with me. Basically just some plastic and my assortment of jerk baits. And most of these fish have been up pretty shallow that I marked. So I've been throwing jerk baits in different depth ranges to cover the areas that I've marked them. Nothing doing so far. So hopefully these walleye really start kicking up here pretty soon. Nighttime feeders as you all probably know. Yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get into some before the before the night is done. Like as soon as this wind kicked up, then they started hitting again, which makes sense. Also maybe found the color that they've been keying in, keying in on. Been switching jerk baits around, picked up a red one, got into the spot where I was catching them the other day. And yeah, and we're starting to get on them. All right, let's get back out there, get some more.
quite as big as the other ones, but still not a bad fish. He looks like he's probably 16, 17 or so. There he is. All right, let's get some more. All right, everybody, just made it back to the truck. Had a pretty good day on the water. It was kind of a grind at first, but then we had a little flurry. Ended up catching those three walleye on the Smithwick Rogue. I'll leave a link to that bait in the description if you want to check it out. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching today's video. Do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm putting out. And until next time, we'll catch you later.